Hey guys, today I want to talk about a little issue I've noticed with YouTube uh, in the last two episodes I uploaded. Um, now, usually when I record uh, doing Minecraft footage and stuff, um, I start the game and I press escape to put the game on pause, and then I start the recording, and then I press escape again, and then I start talking. You know, so I unpause the game and then start talking. And then at the end of my recording, um, I will you know do my little sign off or whatever, and then press escape again in order to put the game back on pause and then stop the recording. Now. Obviously, the reason I do that, you know, and by the way, I record with uh, QuickTime Player because I'm using a Mac. Um, and the reason that I do that is so that when I go into the editing process, which I use QuickTime Pro in order to do, um, I can use the arrow keys to find the exact frame where um, where the pause menu either starts or stops so that I can cut, you know, I can trim the selection, um, the video down and just cut out the beginning and end uh, where I need to. Now, something I've noticed in the last two episodes I've uploaded uh, is that, like for instance, in episode 42, the final frame of the video is of the pause menu. And I thought, you know, when I saw this, I noticed it right away and I thought to myself, you know, wow, I must have, I've been doing this so long, I must have just, you know, um, gotten lazy or, or overlooked that little problem. Um, but in the episode I just recently uploaded uh, today, um, I see that frame at the beginning. And that really irritates me <laughs> to say the least because I go out of my way to take this out. So um, I went and I checked the files and this is the file I uploaded. And if I go to the front, you know, there isn't a pause frame here because I specifically cut it out and saved over the original footage. Now, similarly here, there isn't a pause frame at the end. Um, so I'm not 100% sure on what's going on, but you know, they're, they've been changing a couple things in YouTube and this this little issue has just sort of shown up and I, I'm a little bit concerned. Um, now obviously it's not a huge deal for me because I can easily go ahead and uh, cut out an extra frame at the beginning and end of my videos and then if this extra frame shows up again it won't be of the pause menu. No big deal, you know. And for most uh, content producers this isn't even going to be something you notice even if it's happening to you because especially with live action footage um, the frame, you know, that happens before the frame you wanted to start on isn't going to look that different from the frame you had intended to start on. Um, now, I have a feeling this is a conflict that has to do with QuickTime Pro and YouTube. Um, I would be more concerned if it was uploading the unedited footage, you know, where I leave in the handle, the full handlebars where, where you know, maybe I'm taking a drink of water or something uh, before actually starting, you know, to, you know, unpausing and starting the actual recording. So, uh, I'm just a little bit concerned because I don't want to see this develop into a bigger problem. Um, now, like I said, the, most most people won't see this issue, but um, there are some instances where you might. Like, let's say that you were recording something with a camera, and uh, once you looked through the camera, you noticed a smudge or something on the lens, so you, you kind of wipe it off, and then um, you keep recording, and you just think, you know, I'll edit that out before I upload it. So then you go into your editing, and um, let's just say you're using QuickTime Pro, like I am, um, for the sake of argument, and you, you cut it at the point exactly where your thumb or whatever you use to clean it is now out of the shot. Now, once you upload that, potentially you could see um, that one frame at the beginning. And it, the reason it's irritating is because when the, when the video is paused at the beginning, that's the frame you're looking at. Um, now, if it was like a difference between here and here, that wouldn't be such a huge uh, deal. Like, here, let me, if it was a difference between here and here, I mean, here, let me even, I'll switch it to frame number so you know it's moving. Um, you see I'm going between frame zero and frame one. There's no difference at all, you know, um, for quite a ways, honestly, because I'm, uh, in this particular video, I'm, I'm talking at the beginning. So here you can see a little bit of movement, but, but there's not enough that it would actually matter. Now, however, like I said, if you had, let's say your thumb in the beginning of the shot, that's what people are gonna see as soon as they look at your video. So it irritates me when I look at this and I see the pause menu, cause I specifically cut that out uh, for a reason. Um, now, like I said, it's not a huge deal for me. All I have to do in the future is cut out one extra frame at the beginning and end, but um, this is a problem that exists and I just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention. Um, and I'm gonna be contacting YouTube and see if they have any idea what's going on. All right, thanks guys, I'll talk to you next time.